Hello, folks, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and uh, hopefully add some hot games to your backlog. Games like, uh, you know, like this one, Spelunky 2. You know, I am uh, just curious here. Just looking around at Mama Tunnel's domain here. Okay, so she's she's working on this next tunnel for us, apparently. That's what we have going on. She needs those ropes. Uh, yeah, so games like Spelunky 2 um, and other roguelikes and roguelites that I'm, I'm trying to get to, uh, like Below and... Uh, as far as the eye can see, and Rogue Legacy 2, boy, I gotta get back to that one as well. I got a big list of them, um, but today, it's all about the Spelunky 2. Um, this is my daily series, uh, Coffee and Spelunky, where we get together, we uh, enjoy a nice cup, and uh, we do some spelunking. We try not to get hit by moles and uh, yellow tail. Oh, he just ate the he just ate the dung beetle, which I now know is a dung beetle. Per our uh, resident expert, Mr. Mitej, uh, who has lately been popping in with some really great tips. Always appreciate hearing from you, sir. All right, so. Let's see, can we get Max? Um, I think, I think it's possible. Let's, let's pop a bomb over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? That was crazy. All right. Well, now we're gonna need a rope. <laughs> Sometimes it goes that way. Okay. Yeah, we'll see if we can uh, put together a good run or two here. Ooh. Ah, dang it, I knew it. Figured that bat was gonna hit me when Lips Jones took off running. So, hope you have something good in your cup. Um, I've got something interesting today. You know, like I say, I've been uh, plowing through that, uh, that advent calendar and waking up to some good stuff every day. So today, I have, uh, I have something called the Texas Sleigh Ride, which uh, sounds like it could be something dirty, actually. Um, but I wasn't thinking that. That was, that was all you. Get your head out of the gutter, sir or madam. Um, this is, uh, this is Texas pecan, beautifully blended with Mexican liqueur. Now don't worry, I'm, I'm not sitting here uh, boozing early in the morning. Um, this is uh, not actually alcoholic, it's, it's just, the, it's just the, the essence, the flavor. All right. So, uh, ooh, that's a, that's a good, way to take down a yellowtail. Oh, I like that. I like the blue ones, you know? Oh, more blue ones. Okay. Alright. So, what do we got here? Gold bar. You know, last time around, uh, we took one of those tunnels that we've been working with Mama Tunnel on, and uh, I was pretty happy with the way things kicked off, you know? We ended up with a bonk, which, uh, speaking of bonk, so Nitej uh, said, hey, you know what? Next time you got a bonk, and there's a sacrificial uh, opportunity, you sacrifice that bonk. The telepack, you know, I don't think we've ever had this. Only one way to find out. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the telepack is, is going to be dangerous, I think. Um, we'll see how, how this all goes. <laughs> you know, uh, in Noida, 
there was a skill called teleport itis. Um, I ended up getting it, and uh, I I got it one time. One time was enough um, to to last the lifetime. I never wanted to get it again because, uh, you know, once you had it, you could never really tell uh, where you were going to end up at. So, uh oh, come on, there we go. Oh, this is yeah, this is going to be super interesting. Um. Yeah, I, you know, Matty Ko would uh, would back me up in the teleport itis thing. I think um, it's, uh, I, you know, like I say, uh, you, you just never know where you're gonna end up at, and it, it's slightly problematic. You know, it can work out to your favor. I mean, it, it was early on; it was one of my longest runs. Um, I, I would argue that I still had no idea what I was doing in that game. Um, okay. So the other thing that, uh, Mr. Nitesh had said was, hey, you know, instead of using a bomb on one turkey, get all the turkeys together and use one bomb on, you know, three turkeys, then you're going to get a ton of hearts. That's a great tip. I mean, I... You know, some of these things, they they seem like they're they're obvious, but they're not. Oh, I picked up the turkey. I thought I was picking up Max. All right, we'll use the rope. Yeah, but they're just not. Um, they, they, maybe they should be. Okay. But he said, you know, I mean, find the, find the turkey you're going to ride. Find another random turkey. And then find the turkey over by... Um, you know, Mr. Turkey, and uh, I think he said kill Mr. Turkey with the shotgun. Natej, always resorting to violence, sir. Um, and then, you know, you've got a total of three turkeys, which I, I like that. I like that idea. Um, you know, I will say the shotgun is still the one item that I've, I've never gotten never had it so I think um, I think we're just gonna have to kill the shop owner I think it's just gonna have to happen um, next time there's a shotgun in there we take it we use it against the owner and, uh, and we go to town on some turkeys right not like a not like a Texas sleigh ride on the turkeys, not like that, but you know, just to take them out, just take them out, make a meal. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, old old Quill back here, I'm sensing a, a opportunity for a sip. Come on, sir. All right, we're gonna do what we can here. That didn't get his attention? All right. There we go. Okay. Oh, shite. All right. Turkey, I'm so sorry. I'm really not, but that's what we'll tell you, at least. Okay. Wow. Scarab Town. All right, there we go. You know, I've still got some rope for old Mama Tunnel, if we should uh, be lucky enough to get so far in our journey. And here we are. Okay, come on. Oh, these guys are gonna be a problem. Okay, a lot of death cubes over there. Oh. 
Well, I mean, that, you know, that's something. That is something. Uh, man. I think we're gonna bomb right here. Okay. And, you know, we could take the uh, boomerang as well. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like a good boomerang, it turns out. Okay. Yep, that's pretty nifty. Oh, I like that you can do it from the rope. I wasn't sure if that was gonna work or not. That's beautiful. All right, now, um, you know, Nitej talked about this concept of, of points. And so, um, Kali accepts your sacrifice and is pleased with you. Well, I'm glad, Kali, but what do I get out of it? See, if I go over here, This guy's got his shield up. I don't want to spend too much time, but I wouldn't mind sacrificing one of these guys. Oh! Of course. All right, well, now I'm really going to get him. Oh. Okay. Can I sacrifice him even though he's dead? We're gonna now. Okay. So, I don't think it does anything. <laughs> um... And we lost a few hearts for it, so we're gonna we're gonna keep moving along here. Um, maybe a bonk. Okay, we'll take a bonker. Uh, right. Oh, fall down over here. Um, that looks like that's a boomerang. So that's okay to step on. Oh, it's Max. Uh, this is going to be, uh, this is quite precarious here. Um, oh my, oh yes, the teleport. Forgot about that. Okay. I did not know that the ghost killed uh, the enemies as well. That's, that's good to know now. Or maybe that was Bonk. I, I wasn't. I wasn't paying close enough attention. Let's see who got who got got. All right, the Moon Lady. You know what? Let's uh, let's try the Moon Challenge. Let's just do it. What could go wrong? Oh my goodness! What is this all about now? Okay, you feel all right. Okay, so we got a we got a Matak here. Uh. All right. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Come on. All right, so we're going to go... Uh, this was attempt 27, if, in case I didn't mention that. I think I did. We'll go right into uh, attempt 27 and a half. Um, however, you know what? That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back to camp. All right, back to camp. And we're gonna start at 1-4 and uh, see what we can't do from there. Okay. Oh, so they do give you a free bonk every time, basically. Oh, I like that, that's cool. All right. All right, this is kind of nice. You know, it definitely allows an opportunity to, uh, oh shit, don't step on that death cube bonk. Now this guy's only gonna steal money from me, I believe. Okay, all right. Bonk, I didn't want to hit you, but you kind of gave me no choice, pal. All right. Keep moving along here. Two bonks are better than one. We know this to be true. Oh, God. Okay, so this guy's 
stuck on. Well, we got a shop here. Um, but because we started where we did, you know, we we don't have the gold yet. Uh, we will grab Max while this guy is down. Wow, there's, there's a lot happening over there. Um, we are not going to step on that. You shouldn't either, Bonks. Okay. Oh, man, I didn't even see that one. These, these death cubes just come out of nowhere. Um, all right. So, man, let's pop Max down there. <laughs> Go ahead, Max. It'll be okay. All right. We're going in. Two bonks and a Max. How about that? I like it. Okay. Uh, we might be able to get some progress on that that tunnel today. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, God. The, the lips are talking. All right. We're going to go while they're down. Ooh, this is... Uh, Curious. Let's let's get rid of that guy. Bonk, hold up. Just hold up. Okay. Um, it seems that one of our bonks have perished. Don't want to... Uh, trying not to get hit by that ghost, but... I don't know what happened to our hearts. What is going on here? Oh, and you're not stealing my rope, buddy. Okay. Bonk is dead. Both Bonks have been killed. Uh, yes, Mosquito. I'm not sure what's going on with this heart situation that I'm in. Do I need to perform a sacrifice or just get to the next area and get all my hearts back? I, I don't know. I'm going to jump right over this guy. He'll never see me. Oh, look at that. Oh, I see it this time. Okay. Um, that is going to be a problem. Ah, shite. Well, hmm. I mean, if I've only got the one heart. Ah! Oh, I know, I know, I'm wasting bombs, I know it. We had to. I mean, I, I would have gotten hit. It wouldn't have been great. He he got he got he got his he got his. Oh my goodness! I got mine. Oh, we both got what we probably deserved. All right, we're gonna cut that one there. We got beat up today, but uh, had a good time doing it. It was like a. It was like a nice little Texas sleigh ride. Um, yeah, you know, some of them are going to be like this where uh, you're like, eh, was there progress today? I don't know. It's kind of a toss up. That's all right. I still had a good time, though. Um, I do think that, uh, you know, probably the next couple of runs, I'm going to start going through that one four door to see if we can make it to Mama Tunnel with a rope uh, so that she can continue progress on the next doorway. Um, and then we can kind of just, you know, practice in all the different levels uh, and continue progressing uh, in both knowledge and game advancement from there. I, I do think that, you know, it's just going to take time. Um, appreciate all the commenters and... Uh, all the wisdom that you're sharing with me, it, uh, you know, it really doesn't go unnoted. Um, definitely trying to put it to use where I can. Um, the game is just really hard sometimes, but uh, like I say, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, we're able to get a few sips in as we uh, went through today here. And I will catch you next time for more coffee, Spelunky, and the goat. You take care now.